Do you want to score very high in your 2024 JAM physics exam? This video that have covered essential topics with practice questions and answers is for you. Welcome to our ultimate JAM physics cram section. We just few days left until the big exam who have got your back. I am Joy No Physics. I'm here to guide you through the most crucial topics you need to know for the 2024 Jam Physics Center. I will be diving into the heart of Jam Physics to cover the following topics. But in order not to make the video too long, I'm going to divide it into different parts. So the first part we are going to cover AC circuits, electromagnetism, electric field, and electric current. Grab your pen and your paper. Here, the examiner wants you to learn how to identify the following parameters and use the knowledge in solving some problems. We have the first one. V, the instantaneous voltage. I, the instantaneous current, the capacitive reactance, the inductive reactance, the impedance, the phase angle, and then resonance frequency. We are going to use, we are going to solve calculations. Then note that V0 is the peak voltage, I0 is the peak current, omega is the angular frequency, C is the capacitance let's take the first example the current through a resistor in an ac circuit is giving us two sine omega t determine the dc equivalent of the current the i root mean square is Related to the peak current by this formula, root 2. And this root mean square value of the current is the same value as the direct current we are looking for. So we are going to use this for formula to solve the problem. Remember that from the equation I know the peak current is giving us 2. So we are going to have this to be 2 over root 2. Okay, let's rationalize it. Multiply by root 2 so that we can have our final answer to be 2 root 2 over root 2 times root 2 will give us 2. So 2 will cancel to then our final answer will be root 2 amperes. This is the second question in the same year on this topic AC circuit to show you how important this topic is. In the diagram above, determine the root mean square current. This is the diagram. It's a circuit containing a resistor and an inductor connected in series. In value and, if, and you're enjoying the video, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button. Good luck, good luck as you hit the subscribe button and like this video i wish you good luck in your exam okay let's keep on just like the video subscribe to this channel to encourage me to encourage me and in return i wish you good luck good luck in your exam thank you from the diagram we are giving v root me square as 240 volts and then R the resistance is 4 ohms and then the inductive reactance the inductive reactance is giving us 3 ohms and we are looking for the root mean square value of the current that's I root mean square Remember that V is equal to IR, V is equal to I for inductive reactance, V is equal to I for capacitive reactance, and V is equal to IZ. Please note this. 
this is i is the current so we are going to use the last one to get what we are looking for using v is equal to current and this impedance so the root mean square value of the current we are looking for will be equal to v root mean square all over z and remember i root mean square is equal to v root mean square this z since is a capacity is a circuit con containing an inductor and a resistor we are going to have it to be square root of r square plus x l square so this is the formula we are going to use so let's put let's substitute then we have v240 all over square root of r 4 squared plus 3 squared so we'll have it to be 240 square root of 4 squared is 16 3 squared is 9 so we are going to have it to be 240 all over root 25 and that is 240 all over 5 the root the root mean square value of the current we are looking for will be equal to 240 over 5 which is 48 amperes this is the answer okay this is the third question from the same topic ac circuit in the same year 2001 a capacitor given as this and an inductor are joined in series the value of the inductance that will give the circuit a resonance frequency of 200 kilohertz x so this one is on resonance frequency in this question we are giving the capacitance as 2.0 times 10 raised to power minus 12 farad and then we have the resonance frequency let's use fr you can use f naught or fr is giving us 200 kilohertz and remember 300 kilohertz is the same as 200 that's 200 times 10 raised to power 3 hertz okay we are looking for l we are looking for l remember that at resonance the capacitive reactance is equal to the inductive reactance please note at resonance the inductive reactance is equal to the capacitive reactance and remember we have this as 2 pi fl is equal to for inductive reactance we'll have 1 over 2 pi f c if we solve that equation and make the resonance frequency f f r or f not the subject of the formula we are going to have this formula as 2 pi root l c and now from our question we are looking for the inductance l inductance l if we make l the subject of the formula we are going to have the inductance to be equal to 1 over 4 pi square f square c so that's what we are going to use to solve we are going to substitute now so if we impute everything into the formula 1 over 4 pi square f square c we are going to get our final answer as as 1 over 32 Henry, this is the answer. Thank you for watching this video to this point. Okay, I will be doing the part two. I want to cut it here so that it won't be too long. So, click the like button, subscribe to this channel, turn the bell notification so that you get the next video coming up.